Welcome back. In this video, we're going to learn how to generate contingency tables uh, in pandas. This is your, your, known as cross tabulation, usually in statistics. And before uh, actually doing that, let's have a look at what Wikipedia has to say about that. So, contingency tables, um, you know, in statistics, a contingency table, also known as cross tabulation or cross tab, is a type of table in a it's a mat in a matrix format that displays the frequency distribution of the variables. So uh, we have variables and then we have how many times each category or each kind of that variable is repeated. So basically it's a frequency uh, table. If we have a look at this table here, we have in the rows we have gender, male and female, and in the columns we have uh, handedness, right-handed or left-handed. So you can imagine now we have a table uh, or in the, has several columns. One of the columns is gender, another column is handedness. And then we have so many males that are right-handed and so many are, are left-handed and so many females are, uh, who are right-handed and some others who are left-handed. And here we have a count of them. So how many right-handed males do we have? How many left-handed males do we have? And then the total of males and how many uh, right-handed um, uh, females do we have? How many right-handed uh, left-handed females do we have? And then the total of females and then if you look at the totals across the columns, then how many right-handed uh, individuals do we have regardless of gender and how many left-handed individuals do we have? So this is um, a, a contingency table um, and this is you know, a, a really important thing to be aware of in doing data analysis and especially in statistics. So to do that in, in Pandas, let's import Pandas the usual way and create our data frame. Let's have a look at our data frame. Let's assume that, for example, we'd like to count, you know, for City Tripoli, how many first ranks do we have? So it's obviously, for example, we have one, two, and how many second ranks do we have for Tripoli? We have only one second, so two for first and one for second. And how, you know, for Rome, how many second? We have one, and for f first, we have one, two, so we have two first and one second, and so on and so forth. That's the idea, to create this frequency table. And to do that, we can call the function from pandas pd dot or the method I'm sorry cross tab if we read the documentation shift tab then um, just a quick look at documentation it computes a simple cross tabulation of the you know two or more factors and by default it computes a frequency table that's what usually we're interested in although we can pass you know a different aggregation function but here it just does a you know frequency count um, so to do that we pass it the index so the rows and then the columns and let's do that, that we want the index to be the data frame of city, so the rows will be the city and the columns, I'm sorry, will be our data frame of maybe rank. And if we generate that, we notice that for Rome, rank first, we have two, rank second, we have only one appearance. For Sydney, rank first, we have one appearance, second, we have two appearances, and so on and so forth. And this can be really anything. So I can do, for example, give me the city and maybe uh, score one. Score one, we notice 44 is repeated for Tripoli. So we'll have two for that. So let's do score one. And then we notice here for Rome, uh, score 34 appeared only once, score 38 appeared only once, no 39, 41 once, no 44, and so on and so forth. And for Tripoli, we notice that for 44, it, we notice it has appeared twice, so that's the frequency. Um, there's another interesting thing that here we have, we see the totals, and that's really important to have. Um, and by the way, the totals across the rows and across the columns, they should always have the same sum, the same sum. So 40, 52 plus 48 is 100, 87 plus 13 is 100. If that's not correct, then something is uh, not right with how things are done. And to be able to display that, if you go back, I'm sorry, we already have the documentation here, just a quick look, that we have margins equal, it's false by default, so let's set it to true. So we can have the totals. Yep. So we can have the totals. We have nine entries, so they, they will always sum to nine. Maybe you can do the rank, it's where things look better. And then they will always sum to nine. We, we can do, for example, like score one against score two. So you get the idea. I'm sure that we can uh, uh, display that. Okay. So that's how to do contingency tables or cross tabulation in pandas and data frames. Let's stop here and I'll see you in the next video.